and welcome back to Kill Hut 702 Adventures and Explorations. Today we are back on another little hiking spot, half flash historic video. So we're going to go ahead and hit this trail. We are here to visit some old ancient Indian ruins, Kanishpa ruins. So let's go ahead and check this out. We're going to head down the trail now. Let's go ahead and get this thing started real quick. Kanishpa ruins is a 600-room Mogollon Great House archaeological site in eastern Arizona and is administered by the White Mountain Apache tribe. It is located on the present-day Fort Apache Indian Reservation. Estimated the ruins were built and occupied from the 12th to 14th centuries as part of the ancient population boom within the Mogollon Rim region and beyond. The area has been linked to both Mogollon and the Anasazi cultures. The Kinishba Pueblo is composed of nine major building mounds, the remains of masonry room blocks, some of which were originally three stories tall. There were two large apartment blocks and several smaller buildings with two communal courtyards at its peak Kenishpa may have housed up to 1,000 to 1,500 people. The masonry walls are unique for their double-walled construction. One side is faced and the other made of rubble. The rooms average 14 by 12 feet. With a fire pit in the center, scholars believe that most families occupied two rooms, one for living quarters and one for storage. The residents cultivated corn, beans, and gourds nearby, which were raised together to conserve moisture. They may have raised cotton as well and gathered fruits, berries, nuts, and other foods locally. The White Mountains region served as plentiful resource that allowed for hunting and gathering of food. The women processed the meat for food and the skin and bones for clothing, tools, and other needs. Kenishpa and her sister villages were abandoned by the Mogollon people in the late 14th or early 15th century for unknown reasons. It may have been related to a water source drying up. The area saw little human interaction until the arrival of the nomadic culture of the Apache from the Western Great Plains. The ruins were not used by the Apache and still stand to this day. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get on this trail. We're gonna we're at the entrance right now. So let's go ahead and head down the trail. It's kind of a hot one today. So we're just kind of walking through the entrance. You can actually you can see the ruins right here. Wow, they're a little bit bigger than I thought. Um once we get some more information, I will make sure and put all that in here. I did not stop at the visitor center on the way in like I probably should have because apparently they have a booklet with all the information so I'll make sure to throw all that in here. The history is like the most important part to me. I love history. And if you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy, hope you stick around and join the fam bam. So let's go ahead and continue. Wow. Looks like there's a lot. I see a little thing over here. It's over there. There you go, there's a little trail right here. You can see the ruins behind me. I hear bees or something in front of me. So we're gonna kind of get through here somewhat quick. I hear them everywhere. All right, Kanishpa Ruins has been designed a National Historic Landmark. 
The site possesses national significance in commemorating the history of the United States of America, 1964. National Park Service, United States Department of the Interior. Alright, so we're sitting here at this little sit-down area. You got kind of a nice view. Got some over there. Right here. So let's go ahead and head over to the ruins. Wow. Check that out. One of the rooms. Looks like it has a wooden roof on it as well. I'm so happy we came to check this out finally. Head over this way. You can see this. Looked like it was like double stacked like that. Another room. Actually have some airy vibes kind of. Sure you can you can imagine why. Whoops. So I guess we'll go this way. No, yeah, we'll go this way. Looks like this side collapsed on itself. There are things flying everywhere out here. A couple more rooms. This is truly amazing. You're just I'm just walking through history right now. It goes all the way around. You yeah, somewhat of a little trail here. Kind of scare me. There's a lot of bees and stuff. All right, so we're gonna head back this way, and we're gonna walk around that way, just to see what's around the corner. So I'll see you when we get over back over this way. All right, we're back over to this corner. We were over there. So now I'm gonna take this trail around. This one's a little more open. Wow. You can tell they put the timbers here to help hold them up. I just can't believe these are all still here. So what do you guys think? If you guys enjoying this video so far, make sure to smash that like button. So we'll walk through the middle part here. You can see the other room there. It's all overgrown. We've been getting a lot of rain lately. This is pretty dang cool. I'm supposed to go fishing today, but that didn't happen. All good. I wanted some content and we're getting it. Another couple rooms. And they were all stacked back to back to each other. We were just on the other side. Another wall, partial wall that was standing up. See that's port number five. I think we skipped number four. I just didn't see the sign. Little doorway right there. Now I'm not gonna go in there to be respectful. I'm gonna stay on this trail. If I can find out where it's going. Alright, you can kind of see how some couple people have been walking through here. pretty cool all the ruins behind me that is cool maybe a thumbnail right there all right we'll go ahead and keep going forward still got all this on this side too a 
Another one looked like it was up high and the walls kind of fell over. I mean, look how far down it is and it's got like a window kind of thing in there. You see a lot of other walls here. This is amazing. I did not think it was going to be this big. I think they said there was over 300 rooms. Go ahead and continue. Between these rocks. Wow. And then we are on reservation. Apache reservation. Oh, it looks like they have some kind of trail down here. Check this out. The trail continues there. It looks like a little river runoff or something. These birds flying around. It's actually really nice out here. All the nice hills up top. The trail that goes that way to go to the other ones, but we're gonna walk this way to check out the rest of this. Just gonna be nothing but respectful here. Like I said, we've been getting a lot of rain, so there's like a lot of brush and stuff up here. The corner of a wall still there. See, I am getting flies everywhere. <laughs> All good. It's all worth it for the content. Hopefully I just don't get eaten up. <laughs> so amazing. And that one's almost all the way intact. It's just got the corner of the wall gone. Like I said, I don't want to walk up in there. I'm going to stay on the trail. So this is kind of a cool look of this one too. You can see all the rocks that fell in there. Got one timber left on the top. You can see the birds just flying around. It's very ancestral, so I don't know, maybe keeping an eye on me, who knows? That is so amazing. You don't see very many places that are like out here and in the open. Not in the open, you have to drive out here, but just standing here, they're not gated off or anything. These are the places I love, because you get that real experience. I hope you guys really enjoy this. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and join the fam bam. You'll get all kinds of new content. Abandoned, haunted, a little bit of hiking, and historic. So don't miss out on that. Single wall standing there. Now this was the outside of the other, this little canyon that runs this way. There's a little room here. There she got that single brick just laying right on top of that little window. More birds flying up top. Kind of get an eerie feeling here. Looks like that used to be steps. Some kind of small steps, maybe? And this is where the trail kind of gets overgrown again. This is where I'm hearing a lot of stuff flying around. Yep, this is where we came through last time. Go ahead and walk back through here and get back and continue the trail to the other side. Now, being on the reservation out here, and I'm by myself, it's a little sketchy. You don't really want to be in places like this by yourself, but out here, it's not too bad. I got this. Right here, you can kind of see they have very small portions of the walls left. You can see them all through here. Oh wow, if you look over here, down at the end of this canyon, 
That is pretty dang cool. There's a little bit of water at the bottom. Just the way those walls are stacked, they almost, I mean not walls, but the end of the canyon looks like they're stacked just like the walls over here. That's pretty crazy. Looks like they used to have a lot of water, a little river that ran through here. I'm pretty sure they do in the winter because we get a lot of snow up here in the winter. I bet you that whole thing's flooding with water. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check out the rest of this. We got a whole another section over here to check out. See that little trail says go to the right. Well, we're gonna go over this way first. Wow. This is awesome. Fireplace. This looks like one of the one of the main uh, buildings. And this is a pretty good size. I mean, look at this. Whoa. You can literally hear the bird flapping his wings. I got a bunch of them above me. Hopefully we don't see any carcasses laying around. Looks like a little room. Yeah, some kind of little drainage thing. Rain maybe. Oh, and you can see some writing in the walls. I can't really make that out. A, B, A, E, I. There's, there's writing all up on here. I don't know if that's from recently or you can see like the plaster on the wall too. Here's the fireplace they had going on. Put your under there. That's the fireplace. This is pretty dang cool. It looks like with the stove, the pipes like that was a little more modern. So I'll find some more information. Oh wow, little cove there, another little room, looks like they had some kind of writing on the wall here, another fireplace, wow, now make sure I watch this video all the way through to be able to see everything. I tried to make a shorter video, but you just can't when you want to get everything. More writing on here. Another building on the other side. We see that next. Take a walk through this little jungle here. Wow. Y'all gotta smash the like button for this one and share the video out. Let's grow our fan bam. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. At 3,000 subscribers, I'm gonna get my YouTube name tattooed on my arm. So let's get hit that 3,000 subscriber mark. Oh, wow. Still wanna watch up, watch my step. Looks like an old workbench. The old roof. Another room over here. Like an old ladder. Like some of this looked like it was a little modernized just because it has metal grates and stuff. Side door. That was that canyon that the river used to run down. Go ahead and head back out of here. Yeah. Watching my step again. There's a lot of stuff on the floor. This roof started caving in. Piece of metal hanging. Another little room. 
hole in the wall that goes to the other side. kind of all overgrown on this side you can't really get out it's like a little workbench with some shelves and stuff and then it looks like the trail goes that way so we checked all of this out this might be the end of the trail let's go check out this little room over here This is overgrown. I don't want to. This is cool. Looks like a little corral kind of thing. Maybe a horse stable or something. Just hanging out. I'm really happy we came here. Go ahead and keep going. I don't really want to walk through all of that to that little stable thing over there. Very tall grass. Little, you don't know what you can run into. That was the back side of all that that we just went through. The bird, that crow flying around. Yeah, he's watching me. He's watching me. See that guy up there? Yeah, I'm not going to even attempt to go through that side. The other side of this building. You can tell some of it was modernized. I don't know how old that was, but we'll find out. That crow's just chilling, sitting there. Mouse open and everything. I could hear a woodpecker in the background. You can hear all these flies and bees flying around me. Alright, so let's uh, walk back through here. So that is pretty, pretty awesome. But you all make sure and let me know what you think down in the comments. I've been wanting to come here since the whole time I moved to Arizona, and it's been almost three years, so finally made it. All right, so thank you everyone for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button and let me know what your favorite part of this video is down below in the comments, and I will make sure and answer them all back. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. And hit the notification bell so you get new notifications for all the new videos coming out and my live streams so you don't miss anything and that'll be the end of the video thank you from the bottom of my heart everyone who's continued to follow me or the new ones who have just started following me we're on to big and great things i love you guys have an amazing day and we will see you on the next video and don't forget Hashtag Bam Bam Peace